Okay, folks, this is about um, participation activity um, number 16 using the quadratic formula. This is module 2, and I'm about to assault your ears with a video. You can either fast forward or you could be tortured with this silly little song about memorizing the quadratic formula. But I had a student once tell me they really liked it and it helped them, so maybe it'll help you too. Quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yeah, so it wasn't that deadly. Anyway, um, if you like Pop Goes the Weasel, there you go. Using the quadratic formula, there's a couple of things that you've got to be a little bit careful about, but it's not terribly difficult as long as you take your time with it. Uh, and, you know, follow the order of operations and things like that. So let's suppose for a second we have 39x squared plus, I don't know, 17x minus 10 equals 0. And we want to solve this using the quadratic formula. So your little song says the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Now, I would suggest that every time that you use this, you write it down. That will help reinforce it and help the memorization process. Okay. Now, one mistake that people make is this negative. They always think there has to be a negative there. That is not the case. It just means the opposite of b. Okay. <clears throat> so, Another thing that I would suggest doing is writing down your A, B's, and C's, okay? So A is the number in front of X squared, so in this case that's 39. B is always the coefficient for X, so in this case it's a positive 17. And C is the constant term, which is a negative 10. So just remember, this is A, this number is B, this one's C. Okay? Do not include the variables when you put in for A, B, and C. And then it's just a matter of, of substituting and uh, simplifying from that point. So X equals the opposite of B, which will be a negative 17, plus or minus square root of 17 squared minus 4 times 39 times negative 10 all over 2 times uh, A, which is 39. Okay. Now, just grab up your calculator at this point. My advice to you, just to take things nice and simple, is work through the radicand, what's under the square root, first. So I'm getting negative 17 plus or minus 1849 over 2 times 39 would be 78. Okay. Now, we do need to simplify that radical. So, if I think about the 1849, and I want to try to factor that sucker, we just need to, you know, trial by division stuff, you know, just to try to see. And it turns out that this one actually is a perfect square. So, we simplify that radical, and we wind up with 43. Now, the plus and minus sign means I have to actually do this twice, okay? One time, I need to simplify this using a plus, the other time with a negative. So we get 17, negative 17 plus 43 over 78, and then the other answer would be negative 17 minus 43 over 78. So the first one, negative 17 plus 43, will be 26 over 78. And then negative 17 minus 43 is negative 60 over 78. And then, of course, we want to reduce fractions because we always love to reduce fractions. Uh, so 26 over 78 reduced to one-third. And then negative 60 over 78 will reduce to a negative 10 thirteenths. And those are my two possible answers for this quadratic equation. Now, so I said be real careful uh, as just another uh, quick kind of, of comment. If we have something along the lines of, uh, let's say, 
5x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so a is 5, b is negative 3, and c is 2. So when I go to make my substitutions, then what am I going to have? x equals the opposite of b, so that would be a positive 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. So we're going to see in this case, we're going to wind up with, under that radical, what, 9, 40, negative 31. Okay. So since there's a negative under the radical, there's no real solution. But you can use complex numbers uh, to do that, uh, and you would just have 3 plus i square root of 31 over 10, and 3 minus i. So if you use complex numbers, okay, you could write it this way, and then 3 minus i square root of 31 over 10. Okay? But what I really wanted to point out was this part right here. That's a positive number because b was negative, and it's the opposite of b. Okay? I, I just driving that home because I see a lot of mistakes happen right there. So hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.